Okay, welcome back to daily life for the most part. You're Sai-san's younger sister, correct? Yeah, we've, we've seen you two sometimes, but you haven't really interacted much before. Oh no, if they team up against the Phantom Thieves, we're all doomed. May I talk to you for a moment? So a lot of people think that this place right here is like an exam preparation center, um, or somewhere where third year high schoolers take mock exams. Yeah, so the last year of Japanese high school is called exam hell for good reason. Is it about the Phantom Thieves, Akechi-kun? You are quite perceptive. I was wondering if there were any points in common between Kamoshida's and Madarame's cases. There have been victims, after all. The Phantom Thieves need to be pursued. She was interrogating them before, but now she's on the receiving end of an interrogation. You criticize the Phantom Thieves, yet you don't doubt their actual existence. Oh, you saw that show on TV. Common sense can get in the way at times when pursuing the truth. Yes, as they say, when you eliminate the impossible, what remains, however improbable, must be the truth. Many details become logical if I think on the premise that they do exist. Is this because my sister told you to do so? It was just a coincidence. Why do I get the feeling that you're enjoying this? You may be right. Huh? Phantom thieves that use calling cards and succeed in their crime? As the so-called charismatic detective, It'd be hard for me not to see them as my rivals. You have such high self-esteem. So the Phantom Thieves are evil, and you are just? Compared to people who manipulate others' hearts as they see fit, I believe I'm on the side of justice. Besides, I'm only using my natural-born talents for the sake of serving the world. Which is exactly what they're doing. Don't you think the same about yourself, too? I... That's surprising. So you're just the good girl type of pushover. That is a brutally harsh thing to say. I almost wonder if she struck a nerve with you with what she was saying before. Oh, looks like it's starting soon. See you later. Give Sai-san my regards. Why does everyone get on my case? So, starting soon, is that like the mock exam or something else? It's such a delight to enjoy coffee of this quality. Yeah, you may not want to get used to it because then you might get, like, addicted. The reason why I don't personally have coffee in real life is because, like, caffeine is pretty much a drug and I've heard that you do actually get withdrawal symptoms if you have coffee a lot. You could stay until you find a place, you know. I can't promise that it'd be comfortable here, though. I like that Soldier was offering this, though. Uh, the other thing about, about coffee is I just personally don't like the idea of being artificially energized. Thank you, but I'll return to the dorms. I realized something after talking with everyone last night. Perhaps it's due to my upbringing, but I don't know anything of the world, let alone other people. If I'm to depict people in my art, I need to learn more about them. I must interact with them more. I'll return to the dorms, and start over by talking with the people closest to me. Well, I do agree with, uh, with Yusuke's words here. I can't help but think that he's just gonna go up to people on the street and going and go, Hello! I would like to interact with you, please! I see. Good on you for realizing that yourself. There's no need to exaggerate. May I come again sometime to enjoy your coffee? My doors are always open. He's been through a lot, too, from what I've heard. Are you related to him? Huh? Oh, uh, how would I describe it? We're just acquaintances, not family or anything. I may be overstepping my bounds, but why did you decide to take him in? My reason, huh? <laughs> Probably because he reminds me of my old self. Uh, of course, he couldn't say that while, you know, Ren himself was around. That's all? You know how it is. Sympathy makes you do stupid things sometimes. Your art instructor, um, former art instructor, he must have felt something for you too, besides just stealing your talents. Truth be told, I cannot hate him from the depths of my heart either. 
I should probably get going. Hey, you sure about this? The painting, I mean. It'd be a waste to keep here. Even if I kept it at the dorms, it'd only be met with skepticism. I doubt it would want that. Adding a hint of color to an otherwise ordinary day. I'm sure my mother would have done the same. I see. I'll hold on to it for you then. Thank you for the coffee. I'll come again. So, no rooming with Yusuke. It would actually be kind of interesting to, like, have a roommate for, like, the entirety of a Persona game. That'd be an interesting idea. So I said interesting twice. Also, that clock has no hands on it. Have you noticed that? Yes, I wonder. It's definitely not the original version of that plagiarized painting at all. Hey. Go take the cat out somewhere. Oh, we take him out plenty. But yeah, from now on, the Sayuri is actually going to be uh, on display in LeBlanc. But yeah, it definitely makes uh, a lot of sense. Uh, like, we don't sell this one, so we don't get any money for completing Madarame's Palace, other than what we get out of the boss fight and out of the dungeon. Uh, but it, it really, honestly, I feel like it's what Yusuke's mother would have wanted, just having that painting just displayed in a casual cafe like this. And again, just brightening up people's days as they come in. It's definitely the... Also, <laughs> yep. <laughs> I mean, you know, it's probably the best fate for it, given that it's pretty much worthless in the actual hey, hey. art world. Personal one. Ha, huh, is that about the S-girl who you're kind of dating? Oh, okay, no, it's something way worse. By the manager? <laughs> yes, I can't overlook this. Ah. Uh, well, I mean, it's not a huge target, but I mean, every little bit helps. You know, it's kind of funny that Mishima should be mentioning 50,000 yen today. You'll see why in a moment. So, like, this store gets a lot of online reviews saying, Don't work here, scam. So this is actually the next request that's required to progress the Moon Confidant. We need to complete this one to get it to a higher rank. Wow, we are popular today. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, this is this is that other quest. Right, yeah. So again, this quest is actually related to the Daybreakers OVA. That OVA adapts this quest. And this is why I recommend that you watch it until now, because this is actually a plot twist in the original OVA. The fact that the brother is abusive and the brother is the real target of this Memento's request, that's actually a twist. Well, I mean, there's that scam group that hangs out in Shibuya. Uh, I don't know, especially with how dangerous it is. Also that. And yeah, that too. Also, this right here, drawing them to LeBlanc, hmm. this is kind of a meta joke on that OVA, because in the OVA, this is actually what they do. They, they actually do get them to target LeBlanc. But in the game itself, even if you suggest to do it, they actually don't do it. 
So the OVA is not entirely canonical to the game. And yeah, they don't actually mention the Sayuri in the OVA, by the way. That would be a spoiler. Because again, that was released before this game came out. And it was intended to be watched before you played Persona 5. So, we don't actually have any, like, um, like, progress on that request just yet. We'll be getting that one a little bit later. I just want to see what's on TV downstairs. Also, I have not forgotten Aogita. Also, let me guess, you- oh, you're talking about the artist. I thought you'd be talking about Akechi and how great he is. Did you? Oh yes, of course you knew all along. Yeah, I'm sure that like if I talked to you earlier, you'd be like, Oh yeah, Matarame is absolutely perfect. There's nothing wrong with his art at all. And it is all his original artwork, do not steal. Yeah, I thought they'd be covering the scams. A massive mafia group is rumored to be behind the scam incidents. That's kind of a big jump. But yeah, today... Oh, it's Sunday. Okay, I don't think the drinks would have restocked then. So let's go to the underground walkway and buy Aojiru. I am going to be a little bit off on the guide when it comes to the Aojiru. Also, Yusuke is standing there, but we're not going to talk to him just yet. Hi. Oh, the um, city theme took a little while to kick in. Yeah, I'm one behind. Yeah, this one here being Charm. It's actually supposed to be uh, something else nice. today. What is it supposed to be? It is supposed to be proficiency, okay. We actually got proficiency though out of um, that billiards round, so it kind of works out. Speaking of billiards... Remember how they talked about... Uh, also, I actually need to hang out with Aunt today, so it works out well to do this. Oh, the people here aren't, aren't here to talk to. But remember how they, they talked about how you might be able to get good billiards equipment at a, at a sports store? You can see there's even a billiards table in here. So here we're going to have to buy Expert Billiards and this incredibly expensive Jump Cube. It is required to progress the Billiards, I suppose you could call it a side quest, but it's required to progress further in the Billiards um, um, game. So yeah, we need that. That's why I was afraid to spend t more than necessary on Kawakami lately. But that should be everything we need to do at the moment. So I'm gonna, yep, that should be everything. Let's go ahead and talk to Arn. Also, uh, if you haven't bought the imported protein yet, you can probably go ahead and take care of that in the shopping trip as well. Also, I just realized there's a shop here called Funny Face. It's a shop for people who have no style and no grace. Okay, good, I have a lover's persona. <laughs> it's like, it's like Ryuji's catchphrase is infectious, it slowly spreads to everyone who's friends with him. Mm, yeah, probably unhygienic to take something like that into a hospital. This is actually the best thing to say here. I'm not sure how good the hospital food would be. I mean, that is admittedly kind of true. Um. Yeah, I've heard of some stories from some people who do do physical rehab and they really relate to She-Ho's arc in this game. So that's the thing about She-Ho, even though she is gone and we don't really see much of her for the rest of the game, and technically speaking, her main role in the plot was to get assaulted by Kamoshida to show how awful he is, but I don't think Shiho, like, I don't personally consider Shiho to be a case of fridging. Like, I feel like she's borderline fridging, but I think, she, like, she's at least handled decently well. Like, she's at least mentioned afterwards. And I don't think it's quite a case of, like, you know, having a character who only exists just to suffer so that somebody else feels bad. Like, that's the, the real example of fridging, and I'm stealing this from Overly Casting Productions. To me, the real example of fridging is, like, like Luke's parents in um, A New Hope. 
Like, like, our aunt, our aunt, oh, not parents, like, aunt and uncle, yeah, our Uncle Owen and Aunt Baru. So they only exist to die so that Luke gets a call to adventure. Like, that's the only reason they exist Sorry. in that movie. And that's what I feel is a real case of this whole stuffed into the fridge trope. Like, it's a case of throwing away all the characters' narrative potential just to make another character sad for a few minutes. I don't think Shiho is a case of that. I do feel like more could have been done with Shiho, but Let's go. I do think that what is done with her isn't bad. Also, yes, this is literally just up the road from where we previously were. Also, you might want to like that. Like, it looks like Arn just left her bag there. Sometimes when I do that, I like to put my foot like touching the bag so that if anyone steals it, I'll know. Hmm. Your name tag didn't even change, even though we know your name now. Yeah, that whole senpai designation in the workplace is more to do with experience than age, I feel. I do know that quinoa is pretty in in like trendy uh, cafes right now. <laughs> I don't think that was the answer she was looking for. Yeah, no, Aunt's not lying. She just legitimately doesn't really do a whole lot about that kind of stuff. She just kind of seems to be naturally good at this. Although, the moment that you admit this, yeah, someone's gonna go, mm, yeah, you don't take this seriously. Therefore, I deserve to be promoted more than you do. Yep, they got all that, the whole part about it just being a hobby for her. I kind of wish Mika was voice acted because I can just hear in my head how she would sound. Yep, all of that was, I didn't want to spoil it, but yeah, I could tell from all of her dialogue earlier, it was incredibly suspicious. What? Yeah, but she doesn't get to be on that magazine. And that was Mika's plan all along, wasn't it? <sighs> so yeah, this is actually the response that Arn likes the most. I mean, yeah, but uh, she's also a pretty massive, um, yeah, I don't like saying this, but I think she can only be described as uh, a, um, I don't know if I can even say, I'll just say B word just in case I can't say that on YouTube. But she is one. She's definitely one. <laughs> it had graces, apparently. Although she'd make a good Phantom Thief. I mean, she's just a jerk, but I mean... I can kind of see her being like, yeah, almost Fujiko Mina-ish in a way. 
Also, the perfect technique. Tell me more. I do like how sometimes they work the confidant um, bonuses into the actual dialogue. <laughs> the key to fake crying is you don't actually cry. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Yes! Oh yeah, it's gonna be very, very advantageous and not and not at all one of the worst confidant abilities in the game, I feel. I mean it's better than some, but it's still like, yeah. So yeah, so yeah, this 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 thing here, the in-game description is a little bit misleading. It says chance to force enemies to ask for less during negotiation. It leads you to believe it works during like regular, you know, you know, negotiation negotiation, but it only applies to hostage negotiation, which is a mechanic that is so rare, this ability is almost never All useful. Right. Yeah, there's a couple of confidant descriptions I feel like the game could have done a little better in, you know, explaining. Well, after all that, and now you have to see Shiho in the hospital. This one doesn't even seem to have any uh, phone conversation afterwards either. Ah, you're back. Well, we'll have that painting greeting us every time we come back from now on. Hmm. Well, you see, there's this model that Arn met, and she seems like she'd be a good target. I don't know how popular she is, though. I mean, it depends on whose heart we change. Gathering at the hideout tomorrow, huh? Okay, then. With that, I think I have a pretty good idea of what's going to be happening tomorrow. Uh, but okay, speech help and that darts place. Yeah, Ryuji's asking to go do, um, do darts and increase his baton pass rank. There is an alternative route on the website for the guide that I'm using, like the non-ACE one that does actually go for darts early. This one doesn't really go for, uh, darts for quite a while. Also, wait, I've already seen that one. Okay, so... What I'm going to be doing now is, before we go to see uh, Yoshida, because that's who we're seeing tonight, we're going to be going to the promenade because there's something for us in Kichijoji. So, remember when I said that's this one dark alley? Oh hey, it's Sunday too, which is perfect, which means I can buy uh, Nikuman, what not Nikuman, want? Chunky Katsu. Forgot about that for a second. Uh, actually... Oh. No, these haven't restocked. But remember when I said earlier that there might be suspicious people in these alleys? Well, there's a suspicious man in this alleyway. Psst, hey, you, got a minute? I am a Chapman personally collecting rare goods for personal reasons. I just said personal twice. Yeah, what exactly is a Chapman? It's just an old word for trader. You know what that is, don't you? A trader must con... Uh, constantly fulfill his client's needs, regardless of an item being sold out or worth a premium. But a lone man can only do so much. I've been racking my brain over how I'm going to purchase this item. Then you came along, man, and I just knew I could talk to you. What do you say? Will you help a fellow collect goods? This sounds incredibly suspicious. I'll have rewards ready for you, my man. If you get me what I ask for, we'll trade. Sound fair? Just buy the item when you can. Bring it to me at any time. Fortunately, consumer demand is always in a constant state of flux. So sometimes an item you bring me may no longer be needed. Sorry, man, that's just how it is. Oh, don't worry, I have a guide that explains which items are available and when. <sighs> then we have a deal. From now on, please call me Sakai. I mean... Oh, one thing I need you to remember. I don't want any trouble. Wouldn't want to burden the clients. That means no stealing. You gotta buy the item through legitimate channels, all right, my man? Now then, let's discuss our first deal. My request for today is imported protein. Yes, this is why I said to bring buy this earlier. If you can find one, I can trade it for one decorative whip. So yeah, this is a new feature in Royal, obviously, because Kichi Georgie is new to Royal. But here, yeah, we'll sometimes have item requests and we can go ahead and trade this. And so with that, we get decorative whip. Ah, so this is whey protein made from pig's milk. No additives, artificial colouring or preservatives. Safe for even kids to drink. I knew you'd be able to deliver. I'll be counting on you again. So, safe for even kids to drink, huh? You wouldn't happen to want that for a kid or something like that, would you? 
So in the daytime, there are kind of some hints as to who that guy might be, and that maybe he's not as shady as he acts, uh, and that actually this is a whole lot more wholesome than you would be expecting. But yeah, the decorative whip, uh, pretty powerful. Luck plus five, which is actually a plus ten. Yeah, I'll give that to Arn. Oh, I, I, I hate the way Kichi George's camera flips on you like that when it's unexpected because then your directions, like which control stick direction is up and which is down reverses and it always messes me up. I don't think I've ever actually done this before. In fact, this is going to kind of show off something. So I wanted to mainly show this uh, before, but if you accept somebody's phone request and you are currently in a location or they are in a location that, that requires uh, a fare to get to, You don't have to pay the train fare! So yeah, this is actually kind of a cool tip. It doesn't really save you a whole lot of money, but you can use Confidant invites on your phone to avoid paying train fares. This is especially useful when it comes to some Confidants that only hang out in areas where you need to pay a fare to get to. For example, Kichi Georgie. Honestly, like, pretty much everything this guy says I agree with. Although, this is just reminding me, like, I've heard there's, like, this game that's, like, an election simulator, and it kind of shows the harsh realities that sometimes, you know, having a good cause is not enough, and that you kind of have to, um... What? ...pander to certain kinds of voters. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Pro wrestler to diet member? <laughs> I mean, honestly, I'm pretty sure there's at least been some pro wrestler out there who has gone into politics. And isn't that canonically what Mike Hager in Capcom is? That, like, he he was, like, a wrestler and then became mayor? I know that, like, like there, that, yeah, there's, um, there's some references to that kind of thing in one of the Ace Attorney games as well. Oh yeah, being elected easily and uh, then immediately getting voted out because you have no idea what you're doing. Yeah, that happens sometimes. I don't really want to talk too much about politics because I yeah, generally no. think it's probably not a good idea to talk about politics publicly on in a YouTube video. But, um, but this confidant is all about politics, so I'm going to go into what I can, I guess. But I mean, that whole thing about the professional wrestler, because like professional wrestlers are essentially actors. Um, getting into politics reminds me of the, the Simpsons having the president be Arnold Schwarzenegger. Well, I mean, what he says is pretty good, and he re himself regrets what he did in the past, so this is honestly good advice that he'd probably approve for. Of. Hmm? And so, politics summed up in one sentence. What? And the way he slapped his forehead like that is, I don't know if it's actually meant to be a reference to that Japanese comedian who inspired Wobbuffet. What about Yoshida? Yeah, I'd probably say his message here, but his speaking skills are pretty good too. You're right. Okay, yeah, we've unlocked fundraising. So in the original P5, this would have actually severely reduced the effectiveness of right. um, diplomacy, but it doesn't anymore. 
fact, it's kind of fitting that we're getting this before the palace that's coming up fairly soon. Yes. Yeah, I still don't know if Ku if Kuamoto is actually based off of anyone in particular. I know that Yoshida is named after potentially two different politicians. Something that I have not actually gone into yet is that besides the party members, every confidant is actually named after a famous person. I'll be going into who everybody is named after later on in their confidants because a few of them are technically spoilers for how their confidants go. Hmm, okay then. Some political intrigue going on here. Guess we need to expose who was the one who really well, exposed him. Again. Anyway, I, I, I like the Sun Confidant in this game. We're kind of, in this case, like uh, two out of three in terms of good Sun Confidants, social links, whatever, in the Persona series, because Sun in 3 was amazing. Uh, it's probably one of my favorite social links in that game. Sun in 4 is okay. I'm not a huge fan of Drama Sun. I think that um, Music Sun in 4 is a bit underrated. Oh no, he has other redeeming qualities. Yeah, in a sense, he's quite similar to Joker as well. He's been labelled, although in this case, he's had to deal with being labelled for 20 years. <laughs> Death for the right side of history. <laughs> Hi. Ah, yes, hello there. Um, yeah, well, uh-oh, Yusuke's in front of us. Let's, um, um, let's be quiet. Um, not bad-ish. <laughs> yes, yes, you've been interviewed a lot. Mm. You've answered questions in a way that are bad for people, people I like, not people that I'm part of, people I admire. Yeah, basically hinting that his confidant is available now and we can go and see him, which is in fact, I think, what we will be doing today, which is good, because I actually like Akechi's confidant quite a lot. Hmm. So, there's actually a lot of weirdos in Kichi Georgie, you'll have to narrow it down. Oh, okay, the old man in Harmony Alley. But again, that doesn't really narrow it down, because it could be the traitor, it could be the, um, Heiji Ono. The Heiji Ono. Ah, uh, hides his face. Okay, then. Mm. Yeah, I wonder if this dialogue is different if you've actually already met him. It mm. might be. However, we were supposed to meet up at our hideout today, weren't we? Tragic. But first, a lesson from Mr. Hipster. Only month of the year with no holidays, huh? Actually, I'm gonna look this up. Does Australia have holidays in June? Ah, uh, we do. We have the Queen's birthday on, actually, the, the 12th of, of June. So, pretty close to this. Okay, washing hair with copper. Red, green, it doesn't actually change. No, it's green. This is it. <laughs> That's it. Acid rain is like a concept that I think should be used in more video games. I mean, it's kind of in some games. Nice going. But I feel like more could be done with it.
Oh yeah, this right here. Um, actually, I don't know if this was uh, the same thing. I know there was like the Great Smog of London, which killed thousands. And it happened much more recently than I expected. Like, it happened like in the mid 20th century, like relatively recently. It was because they had so many polluting factories, like right next to water, and then the weather happened and was just like, yeah. It's it's terrifying thinking of that, like the Great Fog of London. Like you could easily make a horror movie out of that. Like, by some estimates, tens of thousands died. Oh, good. You haven't gone home yet. Oh, hi. Fully voiced dialogue from Kawakami. That must mean something's important. Nijimisan's looking for you. Could you head to the student council room right away? Uh-oh, that's bad. The bad kind of important. Also, yes. You are indeed looking at what you think you're looking at uh, on that blackboard. She says there's no report of a lost item, so she wants you to start filling out some paperwork. I don't want to. Just go. If you don't, they'll come and complain to me about it. Oh yeah, and if they do that, then you'll probably be cancelling our mate agreement, so yeah, let's go. The student council room is on the third floor, next to the library. Yeah, the funny thing about that Akechi thing is looking at that YouTube video that translates them, the speech bubble says something like, you know, the phantom thieves are garbage. <laughs> Just kind of funny. Why am I running errands for a student? I know she's the principal's favorite or whatever. Nijima's the girl who keeps following you around, right? <laughs> yes, yes, she is exactly that person. That describes her quite clearly. What can she want? So yeah, hi there Akechi, yes they even gave him bishy sparkles, they're not even saying anything new. Well, then. Ah yeah, no blackboard, I was kind of hoping we could draw the Phantom Thieves logo on the blackboard and see what would happen, but um, yeah, it is a good way to gauge um, how the public views you at a certain point in time. So yeah, I'm not really going to waste much time, I'm just going to head straight to the, the student council room. Well, there's this guy over here. Who's this guy? <laughs> Our president will see you now. The last time she called someone into the student council office, they never left. Well, this is, uh... Mm. Mm. This is not going to end well. Ah, earlier than expected. Is that book you've been reading lately good? Have a seat. I'll get straight to the point. Mr. Kamashida and Madarame. Won't you tell me the truth behind the Phantom Thieves incidents? Can't answer that? <laughs> of course. There's no way you would admit to such things. Have a listen. If someone else could help him, we wouldn't be doing stuff as the Phantom Thieves to start with. Yep. <laughs> Ryuji being loud and yelling about being one of the Phantom Thieves is not just a meme. It's an actual character flaw in universe. It actually got us busted. So you think it's true? We'll be okay if we keep doing this, right? And even Aunt implicated herself. What could all this mean? We screwed up. Well, yeah, we have been yelling about it rather loudly and in public. Was it blackmail? Hypnosis? How do you corner someone into making them confess? Won't you tell me how you did it? Um, um, um I have no idea what you're talking about. You want to say that this doesn't prove anything, don't you? I believe that you three are the Phantom Thieves. Now, what would the police think if they heard my recording? Well, they would think that you didn't have any kind of official search warrant or anything like that. Is that how it works? It'd be bad if we're put under police surveillance. There's no telling what'll happen to you, too. If you confess the truth, I don't mind just leaving this between the two of us. Uh, can we really trust that? You'll tell me, won't you? That's the same as admitting to it, you know. Mm, um, no, legally not really. Go 
ahead. Hey, where you at? Taking a leak? <laughs> Let's meet up at the usual spot to hold our Phantom Thieves meeting. I love this scene so much. As loud as always, but his timing's perfect. I'd like everyone else to hear this as well. Won't you take me to your friends? I guess it can't be helped now. Well, busted. Oh. Hmm? Here? Is that girl a friend of yours? So, um, so, okay, funny story. So, in addition to Mishima, um, um, she knows about us. What's the meaning of this? I had him lead me here. So, yeah, Ryuji, uh, you, your loud voice ruined everything. I hope you're happy. Ryuji Sakamoto, on to Kamaki, and you're Kitagawa-kun, correct? Second year at Kosei High and former pupil of Madarame? Yeah, by unfortunate coincidence, he happened to be here with us too. I wanted to ask you all about this. If someone else could help him, we wouldn't be doing stuff as the Phantom Thieves to start with. An extremely similar technique was used for both Kamashita and Madarame. I still love how it just fades out there while that message is playing. Like, I can just imagine, like, Ruji and Arna both just facepalming constantly during that fade out. While those affected by their acts were just coincidentally meeting up. How could that not raise suspicions? What do you intend to do? Have you come just to say you're going to report us? I bet someone told you to find us. The school can't have ties to criminals after all. Because, you know, it already did. And yet they turn a blind eye when it comes to suicide and sexual harassment. Yeah, exactly what she's saying there. Those adults are just using you. I feel sorry for you. I... I know. Huh? That's why I would like to verify the justice you speak of. Huh, hang on, maybe she actually might be on our side. What? I'm the only one who knows about you. If you prove what you're doing is just, I'll erase this. Okay, that still sounds like you're using blackmail, though. Also, how exactly do we go about proving that? She wants to make a deal. There is someone whose heart I'd like you to change. Who? Hmm. So you're not saying it's impossible. However, I cannot tell you that just yet. Let's continue our talk after school tomorrow. On the roof. Assuming you accept my offer, that is. <sighs> this is turning into a real pain. You were careless. I don't think you truly understood how high the stakes were. Anything to say, Ryuji? Why are you singling me out? On got recorded too, you know? I'm so sorry. Hey, what should we do? That girl's got dirt on us. A recording seems to be insufficient evidence, though. And even with that, there's no way they could prove our methods. Considering who we're dealing with, I think it might be a trap. Regardless, this guy would be in real trouble. He's on probation, after all. Things would get rough if we didn't have our leader. And I totally don't want to deal with the police. Then... We have no other choice but to go along with it. Yes. It's best we agree, at least for the time being. We made a crucial mistake, but not a critical one. We'll just have to recover from here on out. Yeah, yeah, my bad. So, we doing this? All right, we're meeting on the school rooftop tomorrow, yeah? What about me? I could always sneak in if necessary. That'll draw too much attention. You should just wait outside, Yusuke. What could she be scheming? I mean, I'm sure he's better at, at uh, sneaking than Makoto is.
Yeah, I mean... If it's somebody, you know, we don't really want to be going after, if it's being done for just selfish reasons, I suppose we'll have to find out when she tells us. I mean, you were kind of dumb before, but he apologized. Also, it's rainy season now, so we'll be expecting a lot of rain soon. Thing is, though, Morgana is standing, which means that tonight we are actually allowed to go out, and we're going to be going out somewhere quite interesting. Well, somewhere we've already been, Kitty Georgie, but if we press square here... This is quite weird that we're doing this the day that we got busted. But we're going to be hanging out with the detective. I don't like all this rain. Yes, thank you, Mrs. Obvious. Oh, also, it's a Monday, so more drinks. Oh. And because I forgot to get the Shibuya drinks first, I had to pay for the Kichijoji train fare twice. But yeah, you want to kind of warp to Penguin Sniper to uh, talk to Akechi, but before then... Now, I don't know whether I probably should have shown this later in the game. A lot of people act like this is a plot twist, but it's right there for you to see the moment you first talk to the traitor. Hmm? But yeah, suspicious, um, suspicious traitor by night, doting father by other night. So now that we're on rank two of Akechi, we actually do need a justice persona. Thankfully, there is a velvet room right here if you need to get one. It's... I mean, it's not unreasonable to assume that a player would have Angel by this point. Angel's pretty easy to get in Kamoshida's Palace, or in Mementos if you missed it there. So, okay, so a catchy. Uh, right. Let's say, let's just, let's just say, hypothetically, you were the Phantom Thieves and somebody caught you being the Phantom Thieves and had dirt on you and wanted you to do what they would say, what would your next move be in that situation as the Phantom Thieves? Just hypothetically. Also, do you have no friends? <laughs> no. The actual music that's playing here is actually called uh, Kichi Georgie 1990X, I think. It's a partial remix of the Kichi Georgie theme from Shin Megami Tensei 1, because the protagonist of SMT1 lived in Kichi Georgie. Oh yeah, we've played this before. Question is, are we actually good at it or not? I think I've like played pool a couple of times as a kid at hotels, and by played, I meant just hit the balls and um, and just yelled and said, "Yay, they're rolling everywhere! This is fun!" And, and often I'd hit the white ball into pockets, thinking that that was the point. And also, the hotel people would tend to get mad at you because you didn't pay for the mm. table. You're not supposed to like touch the touch the pool balls there if you're not actually. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, never really seriously played. Shoot very carefully is the correct response here. Almost... Oh. Something seems off. Hmm. It looks like as I get to keep quoting that one episode of Miss Marvel so much, but the hand was wrong. The episode is called At Bertram's Hotel, by the way, if anyone's interested, given That's that I reference bad. it so much. It's mostly just a giant in-joke with me and my sister because we watch that a lot, but uh, yeah. 
It's kind of the most notable episode of that show to me. So I think he's implying that he's left-handed here? Oh yeah, yeah, definitely saying that he is, uh, he is left-handed. Maybe I'll be a detective. Yeah, I love this response. I see a lot of things. It's just like, you can just tell that's just <laughs> dripping with just, um, gloating. <laughs> Appreciation, huh? Only rank two, we're already getting a new ability. All right. I thought we'd get a tutorial on that, but we're not. Basically, the next time you see an enemy, there's a chance we'll reveal one of its affinities. I still think negotiation is the best way to quote unquote scan enemies. So just notice that the Goodbye. chairs here are red, blue, and yellow. This bar caters to Gen 1ers. I'm not going to talk over Akechi's phone conversation too much because I actually quite like these ones for him. Yeah, in general, uh, Akechi is a confidant that is um, effectively totally new in Royal and is a massive improvement over the old one. I really, really like this uh, confidant. And a lot of people do. Like, some people think that, um, speaking of Pokemon rivals, Akechi is kind of our Pokemon rival at this point, but... Um, yeah, this is actually one of the most popular things in Royal, and, like, even people who didn't like Akechi in the vanilla game, a lot of people like what Royal did to him. They think that it was a massive improvement. A lot of people think that Royal is worth getting just for Akechi's confidant alone. It's that well regarded. But tomorrow, it's time we're going to spend pretty much the whole day, um, doing stuff we don't want to do.